Hi, welcome to a new episode of Absolutely Business Entrepreneur Stories. In this episode we will see the history of TikTok, one of the most popular social media platforms in the world, with millions of users creating and sharing short videos on a daily basis. Currently, the app's creator, Zhang Yiming, is the founder and CEO of ByteDance. Zhang Yiming was born in 1983 in the Chinese province of Fujian. He grew up in a small town and attended Nankai University, where he studied software engineering. After graduating, Zhang worked for several Chinese tech companies before founding ByteDance in 2012. The history of TikTok can be traced back to 2014 when the app's predecessor, Musical.ly, was launched. Musical.ly was created by Alex Zhu and Liu Yang, two entrepreneurs from China who wanted to create a social media platform that focused on short-form music videos. Musical.ly quickly gained popularity, especially among teenagers and young adults, and by 2016, the app had over 90 million registered users. In November of that year, Musical.ly was acquired by the Chinese tech company ByteDance for a reported $1 billion. After acquiring Musical.ly, ByteDance merged the app with its own short-form video app, Douyin, which had already gained a large following in China. The result was TikTok, a social media platform that allowed users to create and share short-form videos set to music. At this time, ByteDance started out as a news aggregator app called Tushio, which quickly became popular in China. The app used artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms to curate news articles and videos based on each user's preferences. TikTok was launched in September 2016. At the time, the app was called Douyin. The app has grown rapidly in popularity since its launch in 2016, attracting millions of users worldwide. The app's success was due to its unique format, which allowed users to create short, fun videos that could be shared with others. In 2017, ByteDance launched an international version of Douyin called TikTok. TikTok was essentially the same app as Douyin but with a different name and branding. The international version of the app was launched in a few select countries, including the United States and the United Kingdom. TikTok's popularity continued to grow rapidly in 2018 and 2019, and the app began to attract more and more users. The app's user base was largely made up of young people, with many teenagers and young adults using the app to create and share short videos. TikTok's rise to popularity was not without controversy, however. In 2019, the app was banned in India due to concerns about inappropriate content. The app was also briefly banned in the United States in 2020, with the Trump administration citing concerns about national security and the app's Chinese ownership. Despite these controversies, TikTok's popularity continued to soar. By 2020, the app had over 800 million active users worldwide, making it one of the most popular social media platforms in the world. TikTok has continued to evolve and grow over the years, with new features and functionality being added on a regular basis. In 2020, the app launched a new feature called TikTok for Business, which allows brands and advertisers to reach TikTok's massive user base through targeted advertising. Today, TikTok is one of the most popular social media platforms in the world, with millions of users creating and sharing short videos on a daily basis. The app has become a cultural phenomenon, with TikTok trends and challenges often going viral and influencing popular culture. TikTok's success has been nothing short of remarkable. The app has over 1 billion active users worldwide, with millions of new users joining every month. The app's popularity is largely due to its unique format, which allows users to create short, fun videos that can be shared with others. TikTok's success can be attributed to several factors. One of the key factors is the app's ability to capture the attention of younger audiences. The app's short-form videos, combined with its user-friendly interface, make it easy for anyone to create and share content. TikTok has also been successful in its use of algorithmic recommendations, which allow users to discover new content that is tailored to their interests. The app's recommendation engine uses machine learning to analyze user behavior and suggest new videos based on their preferences. 
Another key factor in TikTok's success has been its ability to leverage user-generated content. The app has become a platform for creativity and self-expression, with users from all over the world using it to showcase their talents, share their stories, and connect with others. Zhang Yiming's success as the founder and CEO of ByteDance has made him one of the wealthiest people in China, with a net worth of over $35 billion. Despite his immense wealth, Zhang has remained relatively private and is known for his low-key personality. Zhang's story is a motivating example of what can be achieved through passion, dedication, and a willingness to take risks. He saw an opportunity to create something new and different, and he pursued that vision with determination and perseverance. His success with TikTok is a reminder that anything is possible if you believe in yourself and your vision. In conclusion, the history of TikTok is a story of innovation, creativity, and rapid growth. From its origins as a music video app to its current status as a global social media phenomenon, TikTok has captured the hearts and minds of millions of people around the world. Despite some controversies along the way, the future of TikTok is looking very bright, with continued innovation and experimentation set to shape the app's growth for years to come. Thanks for watching this story and I hope you enjoyed the history of TikTok and its creator Zhang Yiming. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to help this channel grow. Absolutely, inspiring business and entrepreneur stories. So, what's your story?